Hello and welcome to French Cheeks Top Tip Videos. I'm Craig Phillips and in this video I'm going to show you how to mix and apply French Cheeks metallic powder called Frenchine. You mix it with two other French Cheek products. One is the finishing coat or you can use the wax. It comes in five different colours. One of them is cool copper. This one's green goddess, beautiful bronze, gorgeous gold and sexy silver. And once you've mixed them with either the finishing coat or the wax, you can then apply them on a number of different surfaces. You could do it on a stainless steel handle, a plastic handle, any form of metal, like on a shovel here, we actually done a little bit of a decoupage piece on there, or even a large piece of metal as well. It doesn't have to be small like that, like this coach stand here. You really can be creative with it. But I'm gonna start off on applying it to this Demi Loon table. It's already been painted with old blue eyes. Of course, it's dry. So I'm gonna to start to mix up first some of the gorgeous gold with the finishing coat. I'm just gonna carefully sprinkle some of that into a little mixing bowl. About this much to start with. You don't need very much at all. A little bit goes a long, long way. Then I'm gonna slowly apply a small amount of the finishing coat, because I wanna create a paint consistency here. I'm now gonna apply this using one of the detailed brushes. So again, just a very small amount on here. And nice and careful, I'm gonna cut along this bottom rim of the detail on this lovely table. This particular brush I'm using is for the decorative painter to reach parts that other brushes cannot reach. So now I'm just coming to the end of painting this rim around the both rims all the way around the table with this gorgeous gold Frenchine. I even had to resort to put my glasses on to get it nice and neat around there. Okay, the next stage is I'm using another detail brush. This one is a little bit thinner and I'm only going to put a very small amount of Frenchine on there and I want to paint in between these two rims across there but not the entire area. I just want to kind of gently brush right the way across that edge to bring out the detail around that rim. And then I can still see some of the old blue eyes, which was the base coat underneath. Tiniest little bit, it really does go so far. I'm merely putting no pressure on there whatsoever. I'm just gliding the edge of that brush. almost gives the effect that the gorgeous gold was on there first and it's been painted blue and then of course the blue is worn off or scratched off and that gorgeous gold is not made for how. So another thing you can do with the Frenchine is you can mix it with the browning wax to create like a gilding wax. You want to mix about 50-50 of it together and create this type of consistency. Once I've mixed that up, I'm going to dab the smallest amount on the end of my finger, only about this much. And then where the detail here is along the leg, I'm just going to very gently brush that across just to catch the higher parts of this detail. And it really enhances that to stand out proud on that leg. You know what? I have to be honest with you. This is the first time I've ever actually had a go of this. And it's fun actually. It's really good. It's quite therapeutic. Just looking at the detail and how you can really enhance it by applying these simple little methods. But very, very effective. So that's my Demi Loon table finished being creative with the French sheet, mixing it two ways, one with the finishing coat 
and the other with the wax. Just to recap on the five colors, we've got the gorgeous gold, beautiful bronze, green goddess, sexy silver, and cool copper. And the sixth one here is me having a bit of fun and mixing colors up. I simply mixed the gorgeous gold with the beautiful bronze together and it gave me this color. And that's exactly what I want you to do at home. Be creative, be daring, mix them all up. There is no rules. This generally is the very first piece that I've done and I personally think it looks fantastic. And you can do the same at home. But if you're looking for more tips and advice, join the French Chic Fan Forum on Facebook or visit the website for a local stockist near you, frenchcheekpaint.co.uk. Thank you.